Yo, what up? Week two, and um, I'm feeling good. I wanted to always update with weight because I think that's a big part of the jump training. So 185 today. I think I was 188 last week. I can't. I can't remember. Um, but I got. Uh, I'm gonna do some of the jump soul training. Uh, I had this old ebook I did last time I did a lot of jumping called Mad Ups. I know the name's sick, right? Uh, I'm gonna go through some of the skipping and some of the things I did with the jump soles. Um, from a product standpoint, a couple things I'm using. Uh, we got the pain, the CBD relief, which is uh, like a pain cream for my knees. I'm gonna throw on some knee sleeves. I got. I'm going pre-workout to the dome. Pre-workout to the dome to get my hops right. All right, we're going pre-workout to the dome, maxsupermuscle.com. Shameless plug for a company I'm a part owner of. We go right like this. Ah, I don't want to lose any of it on the cup. That's why I just go to the dome, yo. And I'm going to go through uh, a little bit of a different warm-up. Some of the isometrics will be the same. I didn't, I did a Tuesday this week rather than Wednesday last week. I iced, look, but once again, I'm almost 41. I did some ice last night on my knees just to kind of like pre, per, <laughs> prevent defense on knee pain and uh, I feel long and lean, so we'll see what happens, but I'm feeling good and after watching myself jump, fucking brutal last week. I gotta get better, so looking forward to seeing what happens. So, All right, so for warm up, I threw on the jump soles. I went through just a little basic programming of a couple sets of 15 on line jumps, which you'll see here in a second. Strapped them on them Wu-Tang socks. So just jumping side to side, warming up, a little bit of skipping, which feels kind of goofy because I've done it forever, but just to kind of get up on uh, one leg at a time. Then I went and did a little bit of isometrics, basically just kind of putting some tension uh, on the patellas, getting some blood in there. Also did a split squat version of that. The first time I had tried them in the jump soles, then I forgot my jump rope, so I just did a few of those, a little bit more skips, really just trying to get the body moving. Then when I went on the jumping, I gotta tell ya, I just didn't feel that smooth. This day, uh, like I talk about in the rest of the video, wasn't the best. I got a few decent jumps. I really was trying to work on my gather, so I didn't make it two different kind of broken up things where I was almost jump stopping, and I think that was hurting my knees more. So just to really absorb the floor and then get up. Uh, but overall, I got probably like two or three decent jumps, but it also made me realize that I really believe I need to work on more stuff in the gym and then come back to the gym soon. All right, so to say that that second jump session was underwhelming might be an understatement. Pretty bad. Uh, timing felt all off. Uh, on my gather, it felt like a broken up mess. It doesn't feel smooth. It's definitely like more rested. I iced my knees last night. I'm really trying... To be honest with myself, I really didn't do a whole bunch towards jumping higher from last week's training. I really did more of like, how can I manage just being able to jump each week with having this much time off so I can manage like knee pain and getting back into it and just trying to be kind of smart with my age. So I can't really be super mad. It's only the second week, but I know how I can jump or what I'm able to do. I haven't seen it in a long time, but either way, uh, trail put in a couple of the good jumps I had. And what I'm going to do now is start implementing clean work and some box jumps in the gym. And I think I'm gonna take a week off of not training, but from jumping at the rim and just specifically work a full plyo. I really, to be straight with you guys, I really only have probably once a week that my body can handle this type of stuff right now. I've been doing bodybuilding and powerlifting for a long time. So the, the jarring nation of these type of workouts on my joints and stuff, if I wanna do this long term, I don't wanna just be able to dunk a couple times. I want this to be like part of what I can do for fun each week is showcase that I can do these things right at this age. So it's the long, it's the long game, which is hard to play, but that's what I'm playing. So there's some, some good takeaways. And uh, next week, I think I'll do just jump stuff inside the gym, at least or inside my gym. That's what I'm telling myself right now, but I'm going to go ice my knees, work on some protocols for that. And um, just part of the process playing that long game though. All right. So I just dropped Trey off and 
I was pissed about how I performed today. And I feel like I managed kind of the, the volume well this week. So I'm gonna add in some more jump stuff. So I'm gonna do one light explosive clean and three box jumps holding weights just to practice on trying to fire my body again. Because you gotta remember, I'm a bodybuilder power lifter. I don't really do this type of stuff. So that's why there's another unique challenge all plus my age. So basically I'm just gonna do light, starting the process of just firing the body more like effective and literally go clean 135, jump on this box, land soft with tens and just start this process. <laughs> I mean, that's just what it is. Gotta start at the base. It's that long game, yo. And for a lot of you guys that are new to following my stuff, uh, you know, I've been competing in powerlifting and bodybuilding for like 20 years. But about 12 weeks ago, I ruptured my super spinatus, which I think it was about half torn anyway. So I haven't done any heavy, I've cleaned 300 before. Uh, I haven't done any heavy cleans because of that motion. So that 135 actually felt pretty good. Um, when I can clean heavy, I usually can can jump, but that's also part of this process. So what I'm gonna do is just slowly work my way up, try to get about five sets in of cleans and jumps, nothing crazy, but these have always worked in the past for me, and uh, you know, I'm gonna do something about it. I couldn't fucking stand it today. <laughs> 